Saturday was a storybook ending for Mike Cutler's coaching career with the Drummond Phillipsburg Titans, winning his third eight man state title in the last four years. You know, I wish everybody that watches this, the news tonight could experience what I'm experiencing right now. Um, great group of kids, great group of parents, great day, great communities. Couldn't be prouder of what, what happened here today and what's been going on with Titan football for the last four years. Mike Cutler took over as a Titans head coach in 2017, but his time with the co-op dates back to 2014 when he helped the two rival schools join forces with assistant coach J.C. Hollins, who also retired after Saturday's state championship. It wasn't easy, and I'll tell you, you know, J.C. Hollins has as much to do with any of this as, as I do, if not more. You know, we were both about to go to six men, and neither community wanted to do that. While Saturday's win marked Cutler's third state title in four years, it also capped off a perfect 12-0 season for the Titans. During his four years as head coach, the program only lost a total of four games. When it's all said and done, it is, it's just a football game. But boy, does it mean a lot, you know, when, when kids, families, my wife works as hard as they do to get to this point and then to take advantage of it, you know, that's special. Before kickoff, Cutler spent a few moments by himself midfield, soaking it all in, preparing himself for what was going to be his last football game as a coach and the last game he'd ever coach his son, Caden. The Titans made sure it was a memorable one, beating Scobie 44-6. And as hard as he tried, Cutler couldn't hold back the tears while delivering his final post-game speech as a head coach. You know how I feel about you. I just told you yesterday. Thank you for playing basketball. Thank all the ladies. Go tight. One, two, three, tight. Coach Cutler and his son Cade shared a hug in the middle of the huddle. I, haven't, I don't think I've seen my dad cry more than five times in my whole life. That's something I'll definitely take with me, um, just how much it meant to him. It's been a pleasure to coach Cade Cutler. Um, you know, he's been around football his entire life. Uh, you know, I, I get after him as harder more than anybody, and, and you know, I couldn't be prouder of my son. Cade is headed to Montana State next year for football, which played a major factor in Coach Cutler's decision to retire this season. Oh, I'm sure he'll still be coaching me a little bit, giving me tips. Um, I know I'll always have him in my corner. It'll be different, you know, but Coach Cho, he's a very good guy. Him and my dad are very close, and he's someone I respect a ton, and I'm very excited to play for. And while he may be switching from standing on the sidelines to sitting in a stadium seat, he couldn't be more excited for this next journey. I get to be that fan up in the stands that knows everything, right? <laughs> um, no, I, I, I'm looking forward to just watching Kate grow. And he could grow, you know, he could do that in a better place than Montana State under the, you know, the leadership of Jeff Choate. He's going to do great things at, at NFU, and I'm, I'm happy that I get to go watch him and, uh, you know, cheer on the Bobcats. Coach Cutler said he's most looking forward to taking a break from scrubbing through game film, but he's not completely closing the door on coaching. There might be coaching opportunities at different levels down the, down the, down the road, but I'm done coaching high school football. In Drummond, I'm Ashley Washburn, MTN Sports.